Hello and welcome. Well, let's install this uh, DRO display. I was going to hang it from right here, and then I realized uh, or remembered that the head tilts. So that wasn't a good option. And then I was going to mount it right here, and then I realized this goes up and down with the knee. So it kind of runs into it, so I'm going to have to mount it right about there. So to keep it all square, I'm going to put some uh, spacers here. like that. That way I can lay that there, transfer my holes, and everything will be square. Hopefully. Oh, I hate drilling into this mill. I think the washers have to go on the inside like that to make this clamp clamp down on that so it'll solidify. It's to be just a little bit tighter. Oh yeah, solid. I like it. Okay, now we got to hook up all our cables. Okay, this is X. And I will likely shorten all these cables, but I want to make sure everything is exactly where I want it before I do that. I think these cables are like six feet long. Okay, that's X. Now we need Y. And this one's got to be Z. Let's double, yep, it's Z. This thing has a protective earth ground, which this is grounded too, so I don't really know why that's needed, but... I had to look up what PE meant. It means protective earth. I'll just put that under the mounting screw. I think it's totally unnecessary, but just to be on the safe side, we'll do it right. It makes it a little neater. I may include these at some point, but like I said, I'm probably going to shorten those. Although they do pretty good just like that. That's a good sign. Uh, 
Well, there it is. Let's see what. It oh, cool! Look at that. Well, I'm very impressed with this. Don't have a clue. These are all reset to zero, absolute zero. And ah, there we go. Yeah, absolute zero versus incremental. It's two different scales. I didn't have a full understanding of how that worked, but I do now. Uh, of course, I'm not familiar with this. I need to put that protective cover back on here as soon as this video is over just to protect this display. Inches and millimeter. Uh, SDM. No clue what that is. Here's uh, a radius and uh, laying out a bolt circle. Got a lot to learn. Well, I've been messing with this thing a little bit. Here's some interesting things it can do. To find the center, you just run the edge finder up to the edge of the stock. Hit zero. Go to the other end. Find the edge. Get this X and one half. Now I go to zero. I'm exactly halfway. Well, that's just one simple function you can do on our DRO. It can do a ton of different things. Uh, you can create an arc, and create hole patterns. Uh, I got a lot to learn. Uh, this seems to be a pretty good DRO. Uh, I'm not paid to say that. Uh, I bought this with my own money. Uh, I got it on eBay, but they sell the same one on, on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Uh, but anyway, uh, I may do some more videos as I learn more about it. Uh, it's going to be really useful. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell. Mm -hmm.